Hello, I'm Paul Doherty, Senior Scientist at the Exploratorium, and I'm here today to show you how to measure the efficiency of a solar cell. To do this, you'll need a solar cell, some connecting wires, a meter that can measure voltage and current, as well as a ruler to measure the area of the solar cell. Now, efficiency is a very important thing in science and engineering, and it's defined as the useful power that you get out of a device like a solar cell divided by the power that's put into it. So the first thing I'm going to need to measure is the power that comes out of this solar cell. Now, normally you do this in sunlight, but I'm indoors, so I'm going to do it with a lamp. Let me turn on the light. The lamp light or the sunlight comes into the solar cell. The solar cell converts the light energy into electrical energy, into voltage and current. So the first thing I'm going to do is connect the two leads from the solar cell into the meter. And I'm going to turn the meter so it measures voltage. And you can see that even this light is creating 3.63 volts of electric voltage out of the solar cell. But to measure power, I need both voltage and current. So now, I'm going to turn this dial so we're measuring electric current. And what I'm finding here is I have about 15 milliamps of electric current. Now the sun is much brighter. And when I measured the sun, I measured four and a half volts of voltage and three tenths of an amp of electric current flowing through. Now from those two numbers, I can calculate the power coming out of this solar cell. When we put in our measurements from the sun, we find out the voltage was four and a half volts from the sun, the current was three tenths of an amp. That gives us a power of 1.35 watts. But it still needs one more measurement. I have to find out the sun's power coming into the solar cell. Now, thank goodness, we've measured the power of the sun. And the power of the sun is about 1,000 watts per meter squared. So I have to look at this solar cell and measure the area. And this solar cell happens to be about 10 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters high. That's a tenth of a meter high and a tenth of a meter wide. That makes our mathematics really easy. Because I take the 1,000 watts per meter squared from the sun, multiply it by one-tenth of a meter high, by one-tenth of a meter wide, and I get 10 watts. So now, we put it all together, and we find out the maximum efficiency of this solar cell. We get 1.35 watts out of it. We put 10 watts into it. And that means the maximum efficiency of my solar cell is 13.5%. That's a really good solar cell. And it's something you can remember. Almost all solar cells run between 10 and 20% efficient with sunlight. So when you look on a roof, you can know that for every square meter of roof that's covered with solar cell, you get 1,000 watts from the sun times 10 or 20% efficiency, so you get 100 to 200 watts delivered to the house. 